Most of us PC enthusiasts can spend hours or even days trying to squeeze every bit of performance out of our PCs. From timings and voltage tweaks to overclocking, you've probably seen it all by now. But have you ever wondered how slow can she go? In this video, we'll try everything we can to get the lowest benchmarking scores available. We'll use our trusty Ryzen 7 4700G for this test. It's on an ASUS Prime B450A. Installed is some nice Team Group DDR3600 running in dual channel. We'll run three benchmarks to get our scores. Cinebench and CPU-Z's built-in benchmark will also run Crystal Diskmark to see if the 1TB NVMe suffers in this test as well. Baseline scores after three runs come in, 705 on Cinebench, 5715 on CPU-Z. We'll get to the disk benchmarks later as they get interesting. Now let's start turning this into a potato. We'll start first by turning off DOCP or memory overclocking, running at a stock 2400 MHz instead of 3600. We'll also pull one stick of RAM and force it into single channel mode. After running new benchmarks, we see Cinebench drop down to 510 and CPU-Z drop to 5694. We lost over 27% in Cinebench, but only a third of a percent in CPU-Z's benchmark. Single channel definitely kills performance in intensive computation. Now let's go into the BIOS and really hobble this PC. We start by further lowering the RAM speed to 1600 MHz. Next, we'll turn down the F-Clock frequency to its lowest setting at 800 MHz. Then we'll lower the CPU core clock ratio to the bottom at 17. We'll lower the iGPU boost to 500. Precision boost overdrive gets disabled and max CPU boost clock is set to its lowest at 25. We won't mess with memory timings as we want this to actually be a stable turtle. I couldn't find an option on this basic motherboard for nerfing the PCIe lanes, but I was able to cut the Infinity Fabric to 800 MHz. Last, I disable another Precision Boost Overdrive option and get out of this BIOS. Slowly coming into Windows, we verify RAM speed and also CPU speed now running at a slow 1.7 GHz. I have one more trick up my sleeve before we test this potato out, however. If you open MS Config under Boot Options, there's an advanced setting for number of processors. We're going to set this to 2. I'd set it to 1, but more than likely we're going to have a bad time. For what felt like an hour, Windows finally restarted, and we can now see our glorious two potato engines running. Let's see how bad this is. Starting with the quickest test CPU-Z, we get an abysmal score of just 220. That's a 96% loss. Cinebench literally took hours to finish and did so with a score of just 21. That's a loss in performance of 97%. Potato! Now, disk performance didn't suffer as much as I thought it would, with barely noticeable loss in sequential reads and writes but losing two-thirds performance in random 4K reads and writes. So that was kind of uh, surprising. Overall, with just a Windows tweak and a few BIOS changes, we managed to kill over 96% of this computer's performance. Removing a stick of RAM did hurt some, but it wasn't nearly as bad as some of the other changes we made. If anything, I hope someone learns from this video with respect to how easy it is to muff stuff up playing in the BIOS. Or this could serve as a great April Fool's trick for a friend or foe. Thanks so much for watching. Leave your comments and questions below. Like, subscribe, goodbye.